What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at a product that I probably should have bought a very, very long time ago. I am joining the robot revolution, the vacuum robot revolution that is, and I'm super happy that I picked up the Lazar L6 Pro. This has a lot of things going for it. It's a smart vacuum, it's a self-contained unit, which means it's going to keep all the debris and whatnot in here until this bag fills up, and they do provide extra bags as well. So you don't have to worry about emptying a small compartment every couple of runs. This is just going to contain itself, and when you're ready, go ahead and empty it out. You also do have a wet mop feature, which I'll get into in a little bit, and of course it is a regular vacuum. Now inside of the box, you get the manuals, you get an extra filter, you get some extra mops for that, for that wet mop feature, as well as a dry mop right over here, extra little brush, and then you also get four extra bags once again because it is self-contained. I like this vacuum, but let's go ahead and talk about it. I'm going to tell you all of its features, and I'm going to show you the app, and we're going to get into more details about it. If you've waited a long time like I have and you're waiting for that perfect, perfect vacuum, this just might be it for you. Let's get into it and check out the L6 Pro together. Before I go ahead and show you the functions of the vacuum, you do have a couple buttons on the top. One, of course, is the power button and the other one's the home button. So if you want this just to go back to its home base, which it will do automatically once it's finished cleaning, all you have to do is press on that home button. Now on the bottom side here, you can see you have these really big wheels, these oversized wheels, which are gonna help this kind of traverse any sort of obstacle that you have, whether that's different carpets, whether that's a table leg, whether that's a, a couch leg, anything like that. So it does a really nice job with that. And of course you have this little rolly, rolly wheel on the bottom. Here's that brush that's going to sweep all of that debris from the edges right on into the suction unit. And here's the main little brush right in the middle there. Now on the top here, this is where you can switch out those, those mop pads. So if you want to use that wet mop feature, you will have to switch this out. This gray one here is just for regular carpets, so it's not going to mop. But overall, I think they designed a nice vacuum. You also have these bumpers, so if it does hit something, which it does from time to time, let's be honest, it's just going to kind of bounce right on back and not really hurt your furniture because you do have a rubber rubber ring around it so it shouldn't scratch up any of your furniture. Now taking a look at the dust and water bin, this is where it's going to keep all of your water so you can fill it up and it's just going to spritz a little water as it mops. And it also has that dustbin feature so it's going to catch all of your all of your dry debris right in there before it comes back home and then suctions it all up into the self-contained unit. That's basically it showing you the overall hardware and whatnot. Let's check out the app and see how this thing actually mops. Taking a look at the application, it's called Lazar Smart. This is what you can download from either the Apple or the Android App Store. Now taking a look at it, you can see it has my robot here. You do have to pair it and that's, that's easily done with just the press of a button. But your home screen will show you the current map. Now I am currently using the robot to map out an entirely different floor. So you can have different maps, which I'll show you in a little bit. One for the upstairs and one for the downstairs. And you can see exactly where the robot is at the moment. So he's doing its thing. He's going around cleaning everything that needs to be cleaned. Now you can see the area. So right down here, it says 12 meter squared area. It's been cleaning for about 14 minutes, 15 minutes. And the electricity, that's the power left on that battery is about 89%. What I like about the L6 Pro is you can save different maps. So say you have a bi-level home, maybe a tri-level, maybe you live in that mansion. You can set up different maps for different zones. So all you'd have to do is kind of carry the robot down the stairs because it does have that anti-fall detection, I'm going to call it, so it will not fall down any stairs. So I've gone ahead and set up my top floor into the living room, the office, the bathroom, the kitchen, and the dining room, as well as a no-fly zone because it always got caught on a specific, on a specific chair, and, and I just don't want to deal with that. So the robot, speaking of which, does a really nice job of traversing different carpets and traversing, say, legs of couches and legs of tables, but... If your legs are just a little bit too thick, it's kind of get to that, that pivot zone where it can't really move. So that's why I created that no fly zone, I'm going to call it. Now under your water setting, if you want to use that mop feature, which I actually am not going to use because it, it just left a trail on places where I didn't want it to mop. So I actually turned off the mopping feature. I might try it a bit later on. But I did like the feature where I could choose the bathroom to mop the tiles and choose the kitchen to mop that floor as well. But I just didn't want it to leave a, a wet stain around other areas and, and, and also around the carpet. I don't want to get that carpet kind of moldy. So I actually turned off the mop feature. Maybe they'll update it and give us a little firmware push that'll fix that issue. But you can choose what room you want it to vacuum. So let's say you had a party and, and you just wanted to vacuum the living room. You can just select that room and then click on start and it's going to go into that living room. 
And you can select different rooms as well. So maybe you wanted to do the, the office after, and then maybe you wanted to do the bathroom. It's only gonna clean those three areas. And I really like this feature of the L6 Pro. I think it's one of the best features here. You can also select the zone. You can pin and go. So if you know there's something that's spilt, all you'd have to do is kind of drop a pin and the vacuum's gonna go there and clean up all of those Cheerios that your kid might've dropped, or maybe you even dropped it, who knows. But auto is, is a feature that's just gonna kind of go around all your rooms and do all the cleaning. Once again, it is a smart robot. Let it do its thing. That's what it was designed to do. Now going under more, this is where you can have a couple settings. So timer is gonna be your scheduling. And what I like about the scheduling feature, once again, is you can select the different suction powers and you can also select the mode. So if you do want to use that mop feature, you can go ahead and say, you know what, on Tuesdays, just mop the bathroom. That's all I want you to do. So you can create a schedule for that. Or of course, you can create a schedule to automatically clean your entire home. Now find robot. Sometimes, let's be honest, it gets stuck on something. You don't know where it is. You can go ahead and click find robot and to change the map. This is where you can have different maps. So if you do have those different maps set up, you can go ahead and switch different maps. One for the top floor, one for the bottom floor. Auto boost sounds like what it is. If it notices it needs a little bit of a boost, it's gonna automatically do that. It is a self-contained unit. And what I like about it is you can choose when the, the vacuum actually releases all of that dust. I like to do it after three times because that container does, does have the ability to hold up to three times of dust and whatnot. But it really depends how dirty your floor is. Again, if you had a party, maybe you wanted to collect once, once after you finished cleaning. But I found three times was enough for my home. Just go ahead and play with that if you want to. And then another feature, if you're interested how many times the vacuum actually went around and did its thing, you, you see the little records here. So you can go in and see, see what area the vacuum cleaned and how long it took. Voice and volume. You have different voices and volumes. Do not disturb mode is basically don't vacuum during these times. So maybe from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. you don't want the vacuum to go ahead and, and do anything. So you can kind of do that do not disturb mode. Under consumables and maintenance, this is where you're gonna see how much of your filters and brushes you have remaining. They do have to be changed from time to time. So you can see I have about 95% on all of them, which equates to about 143 hours of vacuuming. The main brush has 293 hours, so I think that's plenty for, for a long time if you ask me. I haven't done the math. You guys who are mathematicians out there, let me know how many days 95% is gonna get me. I like about having a, a smart application here is not only can you see your, your room, so you can see where the vacuum kind of detected the couch, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. It can detect all of those obstacles and kind of map it out. But having a smart robot vacuum means you can use your voice to, to activate it. But it also means if you're at work and you know you're gonna have some people coming over later, all you have to do is kind of, on your way home, tell the vacuum, I want you to kind of clean up the living room because I'm gonna have a lot of people over, so go ahead and clean that room. Make sure it's definitely, definitely ready for visitors. So that's what I like about a smart vacuum. Not only does it mean I don't have to do the, the heavy lifting, the dirty work, I can just have this robot work for me, but it's also very convenient and that's what it's all about. I like having a clean home when you come home, as most of us do. We want a clean environment to live in. And with the L6 Pro, that's definitely gonna be the case. A couple things I wanna mention about the vacuum. I think it did a really awesome job. It took a couple times to pick up some rice and to pick up some oregano that I put on the floor, but overall it did a nice job. The mopping feature, as I mentioned, I'm not super impressed with. It, it just kind of left a damp, a damp kind of streak along the floor going back to the home base. And it just, just made the carpet, if it went over a carpet, a little damp as well. So I'm not really a fan of that feature but the actual vacuum itself is really good. And if you just have tiles or wood floors in your home, this might be a great option for you. Now, maybe they can update the firmware to kind of fix that little dampness issue. I don't know about that, but overall, I am still super, super impressed with this vacuum. It's cleaned up, it's gone around carpets, it's gone under beds, it's gone under couches. It's done everything I wanted a vacuum to do without me having to do it. I know we're all kind of lazy. We don't like moving furniture. We don't like going under the bed. Well, the vacuum is gonna be able to do that. And that's why I recommend this robot vacuum. I'm super impressed with it, but let me know if you have any questions with it down in the comments below. I always appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, catch you in another video.